Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, once again, a lot of people asking one question that is about the CPU. So a lot of you are incompatible because the um, CPU check tells you that, well, your you know seventh or sixth or fifth generation Intel CPU or you're really an older machine um, isn't compatible with the newer Windows 11. You know, I get a lot of people saying, well, you know, this is crazy. Microsoft is uh, is crazy. This is not the first time that this happens, by the way. Um, if we go way back to Windows XP, Windows XP was one of the major changes in Windows. And almost any machine that ran Windows 98, uh, which was the popular operating system at the time, a lot of them were not compatible. There was a big shift. Microsoft had decided, look, we're moving ahead in technology. And you have to at some point. Um, you have to at some point. Uh, that is the thing. And it's not that you're left off. You still have Windows 10. I get the frustration of people that might want to have Windows 11. But, um, you know, at some point you do have to move on. And you have to draw a line. And Microsoft decided that the line that they would draw was at a specific place where a lot of people are kind of a little hangry right now. Um, one of the things that, so like I was saying, the questions that people were asking is, can I change my CPU and have, you know, something more recent uh, installed in my computer? Thing is, uh, changing CPU is not as easy as it sounds because the CPU generations have different requirements. So each generation will require a new motherboard. In most cases, you cannot easily change a CPU from one generation to the other without having a big change in everything in your computer almost. And so that makes it very unlikely that your machine can move ahead just by a CPU change. The other thing also about this is concerning laptops. For a lot of laptops, forget it. The CPU is not even on the socket. A lot of laptops have the CPU directly on the board. So it depends on the machine you have. The uh, requirements for CPU is, is a very difficult one. Now, the other question I get is about graphics. Uh, some are say, well, I got a CPU. I've got TPM2. It still says it's not compatible. I don't get it. That might have to do with the graphics that you have. Onboard graphics aren't the greatest graphics in the world. And what happens is that a lot of Intel CPUs uh, that are rejected, by the way, are rejected because your computer might have the crappy Intel HD uh, GPU, which is the graphics processor, which does not support the latest graphics required for the computer to run. Uh, unfortunately, there's this really sad thing about computers these days. The integrated graphics processor is often the crappiest thing your PC has because a lot of the computers just rely on the you know basic graphics uh, GPU that is with the processor, uh, like on the Intel side. Um, you know, this would have been easy uh, to fix if they would actually have better GPUs. You know, if NVIDIA would actually make the GPUs instead or stuff like that. Um, of course, it does have a lot to do with the price paid on, on a, a computer. And, and I get that the, uh, they sometimes will make choices depending on the price point of selling a computer. But a lot of that is due to the graphics adapter also. Uh, so graphics adapter on a desktop computer is easy to change. On a desktop computer, you can actually add a graphics adapter. If you have a desktop, if the only thing that prevents you to go to Windows 11 is the graphics, then purchase a, a fairly recent uh, and decent graphics adapter. It's easy to install in most desktops, and you will be compatible similarly. Uh, for laptops, of course, once again, graphics GPUs are something that are not really replaceable most of the time, built in, so uh, kind of difficult or impossible to do anything about. Unfortunately, 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.